And what I want you to do is I want you to design your ultimate room. Okay, what is mechanical advantage? Seeing kids uh, discover in the classroom is the highlight of my day. It really is the root of STEM education as a whole is that we're uh, challenging our kids and expecting them to rise to the challenge. And a lot of times, particularly in my classes, it's with project-based learning. I give them um, certain specifications and then they have to bring me a design that meets those specifications. I like it because it's like creative and you can create new things or innovate things that are already done. I think it's really important for them to find their own path and figure out what it is they like to do and figure out what their strengths and weaknesses are. Well, the teachers here are mentors. They uh, help guide us towards being able to solve our own problems to be able to branch out in specific fields. We have teachable moments, but a lot of times it's more on a personal level, which I think is more directly and highly effective. But a lot of times it's mentorship as well, helping them to solve the problem that they're attempting to do, but letting them do the heavy lifting. And I think that's really the application of some of the theory that maybe you get in traditional science learning. Now I'm just going to put the wires just all curled up right here. I believe in letting the students find their own creativity. Probably need to make it lower. Giving them the tools they need and letting them show me what they can produce. I really like to see some of the stuff that they come up with when I give them um, completely open design problems. They get a lot of control. They have a lot of choice in the classes that they both pick, that they want to choose for specializations. They also have it within this, the, the very projects. In this class, we're doing a project where we either invent something that we don't see or we fix something that we think doesn't work right. By creating uh, any type of machinery or program that can solve that problem. And the end goal is that they have made some change on the world, the world that they care about because it was their project to pick. This is how we teach. In that environment where kids have choice, kids have direction, kids get to create. When the expectation is innovation, then innovation becomes achieved. Yeah. Oh, that's good.